Good afternoon. Please be seated and uh, welcome to the State Department, to the Benjamin Franklin Room. Uh, Vice President Biden and Dr. Biden and I are delighted to be hosting uh, this uh, luncheon for a very special guest. Uh, Chancellor Merkel is someone who has proven to be an extraordinary leader, not only on behalf of her country, but on the world stage on so many issues that matter greatly to the United States and all those who love and cherish uh, freedom and peace and opportunity for all. Uh, she is receiving, as you may have heard, the Presidential Medal of Freedom from President Obama uh, today, and that is a recognition as our nation's highest civilian honor. Uh, she has ensured during her time in public life on behalf of Germany that her country is a force for uh, all of the values that we hold so dear together. And our alliance is in extraordinary uh, shape. And as we live through these very quickly changing times, it is uh, very good to have a partner at the helm of Germany who is working with us uh, to resolve a lot of the issues and solve the problems that we face together. I first met the Chancellor uh, a long time ago, back in the 1990s. She was not yet Chancellor, I was not yet Secretary, and we actually were on a television show, an interview show together uh, in Berlin, and she was introduced to me as a young woman who will go far. Um, <laughs> And uh, that certainly proved to be true. When she was uh, addressing two years ago the joint session of Congress, she made such an indelible uh, point of talking about the transition she had lived through and exemplified in her own country, uh, tearing down a wall made of barbed wire and concrete and now, in the 21st century, having to tear down the walls in our minds, walls of short-sighted self-interest and walls between the present and the future. Well, we have a leader for both the present and the future with us today. And it is my pleasure to introduce another leader who I've known even longer than I've known the Chancellor, and that is our wonderful Vice President Joe Biden. Thank you, Madam Secretary. Even then, I was 25 years older than the Secretary. <laughs> Madam Secretary, uh, Chancellor Merkel, uh, all the distinguished guests that are assembled here today, Madam Chancellor, I congratulate you as you've been congratulated again and you will be hopefully many, many times on receiving the highest award our country can give to a civilian. The President is anxious to uh, present to you the uh, Presidential Medal of Freedom. And it's a fitting acknowledgement, uh, uh, Madam Chancellor, uh, both of your tremendous achievements in leading your nation, but uh, also, the incredibly high regard you are held in not only here in the United States, but around the world. You have uh, risen to a, a task and an extremely difficult time, and uh, you're one of the leaders that the rest of the world looks to. President Obama has said uh, of Chancellor Merkel's life that her story is a story of accomplishment and a source of inspiration to him and, quite frankly, to all of us. Madam Chancellor, you're indeed a both vital partner and someone who's broken through barriers your entire career, not only for the betterment of your country, but I would argue for the betterment of Europe. One day, uh, on the day we celebrate this uh, close friendship and strong alliance between our two nations, I wanted to just say a few words, if I may, about a man who used to occupy uh, this office, uh, the Secretary's office, uh, who devoted his career to uh, promoting this transatlantic partnership, former Secretary Larry Eagleburger, who passed away last weekend. He was one of the strongest uh, proponents of uh, 
Uh, Germany's key role in European security, as Big Brzezinski, as I see here, has always been. And he also uh, played a very major part in securing U.S. assistance to Central Eastern Europe at, as the wall fell. And we miss his counsel. Madam uh, Chancellor, President Obama has said many times, and he said again essentially today when he was we were speaking on the lawn of the White House, he said, Europe is the cornerstone of our global engagement and a catalyst for global action. And uh, Germany is not just central to our relationships with Europe. Quite frankly, it's central to our entire global agenda. On my first overseas trip as Vice President, I had the opportunity to be with you, Madam Chancellor, at the Munich Security Conference in 2009. And uh, the President asked me to make the first major speech to begin to lay out uh, this administration's foreign policy. And alongside Chancellor Merkel, I uh, said the United States would listen and learn. I would argue we have listened, and hopefully we have learned. I also told at that time our NATO colleagues that there was no conflict, none whatsoever, between our security and our ideals. I also said that we would uh, need Europe's help. The United States, I pledge, would do more for and with Europe and the world, but we needed Europe's help, and we needed Europe to do more. And you have. In her remarks, the Chancellor at that same meeting said, quote, we have to do this together. As the Secretary said, I think there's evidence that that has been exactly what's happened since we've come into office. We have done a great deal together. She also urged, the Chancellor did, the nations of NATO and the NATO alliance to prepare themselves for joint action. Looking back at more than two years since we both spoke at that meeting, I submit the United States and Europe have heeded this call to greater cooperation. And with the significant help of Secretary Clinton, that we are now focused on sustaining it and knowing that it's more important to sustain it now than it ever has been. As we stand together in Afghanistan to try to stabilize that country and work to counter proliferation threats from Iran, as we recover from this global financial crisis and support the citizens of the Middle East and North Africa, struggling for a greater opportunity for liberty and democracy, as we uh, provide assistance to the people of Japan and Haiti, Kosovo and Bosnia and beyond, the United States and Europe not only are talking about cooperation and engagement, we are actually cooperating and engaging in no small part because of your leadership, Chancellor. It's not just the policies and values that we share. That's not the only thing that unites us. There's an incredible kinship. Now, Madam Chancellor, I'm sure you've been told this before, but a full one quarter of all Americans claim to be of German heritage. One quarter. And I imagine 100 percent of this room this afternoon <laughs> claims that. German Americans have enriched the United States in countless ways and excelled in every single facet of American life, business to arts, politics to sports, in every single aspect of American life. And together, Germany and the United States are planting the seeds to grow these links for generations to come. It's no accident that the United States is a, a top destination uh, for uh, German high school students. And it's also no accident that Germany is a top, top destination for American high school students studying abroad. Our friendship and our shared values and our common heritage enrich both our nations, and I would presumptuously suggest enrich the world. So I'd like to offer a toast, if I may. Here it comes. Here it comes. Thank you. Oh. I'd like to offer a toast. Our friends, our partners, our allies, may our close cooperation continue for generations to come. And welcome. The floor is yours. Thank
Sehr geehrter Herr Vizepräsident, sehr geehrte Frau Biden, sehr geehrte Frau Außenministerin, liebe Hillary, sehr geehrte Damen und Herren, recht herzlichen Dank für die wunderbare Begrüßung und ich freue mich über unser Zusammentreffen jetzt hier im State Department. Mr. Vice President, Mrs. Biden, Madam Secretary, dear Hillary, uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for the wonderful reception and let me say that I'm delighted to be able to meet with you here today in the State Department. Der heutige Tag ist Ausdruck unserer bewährten, engen deutsch-amerikanischen Partnerschaft, die seit langem besteht, die aber natürlich wie die gesamte Welt auch einem Wandel unterworfen ist. This day today is a testimony of our tried and true and very close German-American partnership, um, but it is also um, a friendship and a relationship um, that is of long standing, but um, as is the world generally, um, is also subject to certain changes. Und so haben wir nach dem Ende des Kalten Krieges, nach der deutschen Vereinigung, heute neue Aufgaben zu bewältigen und das tun wir in großer Gemeinsamkeit. So, after the end of the Cold War um, and after German reunification, uh, we now have new tasks on our agenda and uh, tasks and challenges that we need to meet together. And we're doing this uh, and we're doing this in very close coordination and cooperation indeed. Wir beschäftigen uns heute mit einem Wandel in einer anderen Region, im Norden Afrikas, den wir erfolgreich gemeinsam gestalten wollen. Wir wollen Afghanistan stabilisieren und wir wollen einen Beitrag dazu leisten, dass es keine nukleare Bewaffnung des Iran geben kann. Today we are dealing with changes in a very different part of the world, um, namely in North Africa. Uh, we want to see to it uh, that uh, there is a successful uh, development there. Uh, we are also successfully working together um, because we wish to stabilize um, Afghanistan and we would like together to lend a contribution towards um, preventing Iran from getting a nuclear weapons capability. Und was dabei zählt, das ist die Dichte des Austausches, wenn ich allein daran denke, wie oft sich die Außenminister treffen, wie oft sich die Finanzminister treffen. Das ist die Direktheit des Austausches, die Unkompliziertheit, also alle, alles gerade das, was Partner und Freunde auszeichnet. And in order to be able to meet those challenges, uh, we indeed meet very often um, at very regular intervals. If I only think of the very frequent meetings of, for example, the foreign ministers or the finance uh, ministers, and these talks um, are generally characterized by um, an openness of mind. Uh, they are direct um, and they are very uncomplicated. And this is, after all, what um, a friendship and a partnership is all about. Und ich möchte mich bei Ihnen, Herr Vizepräsident, ganz besonders bedanken, dass Sie gerade, gerade auch in den ungelösten europäischen Konflikten immer wieder ein hohes persönliches Engagement gezeigt haben und zeigen, sei es, wenn es um Moldawien geht, sei es, wenn, sei es, wenn es um Bosnien-Herzegowina geht und viele andere Dinge und natürlich ganz besonders auch bei der Außenministerin, die ja an allen Orten der Welt fast gleichzeitig sein muss. Wir begrüßen Sie jedenfalls in Europa und Deutschland immer sehr herzlich gerne. Mr. Vice President, allow me a personal word of thanks to you because you have been very actively involved um, in trying to bring the protected and unsolved uh, conflicts on the European continent uh, to an end. You have taken out indeed a very personal uh, commitment to doing that. Um, one case in point is, for example, uh, the conflict um, in the Republic of Moldova, but also Bosnia-Herzegovina uh, come to mind, and a number of other um, areas where conflicts as yet have not been settled. And and um, obviously also a word of gratitude addressed to you, Madam Secretary. You are traveling all over the world, and sometimes one gains the impression as if you were in several places at one and the same time. Um, at any rate, we um, in Europe, we in Germany, uh, are always welcome you with open arms. I am convinced, and we are today with a wide delegation here from Persönlichkeiten aus der Gesellschaft, die selber Anteil an der Gestaltung der deutschen Einheit hatten, aus Parlamentariern aus dem Deutschen Bundestag, Ministerpräsidenten der deutschen Bundesländer und äh, einem großen Teil des Kabinetts. Ich bin überzeugt, dass dieser Tag ein Beitrag ist, dass unsere Freundschaft weiter sich entwickeln kann, sich vertiefen kann, dass wir noch enger zusammenarbeiten können und dass es ein guter Tag ist für die deutsch-amerikanischen Beziehungen. I uh, 
I'm absolutely convinced um, that um, indeed we will continue to work very closely together. If you look, for example, at the composition of my delegation, um, you will see that um, it is a very broad-based one. There are uh, people in my delegation from all walks of life, particularly also people who have had a share in um, making German unity uh, possible. Um, you will also have um, a number of members of our uh, German parliament, of the German Bundestag, with me in this delegation um, as uh, Minister the presence of the uh, German uh, lender and also uh, a fair number of uh, members of my of my cabinet um, and all of this um, leaves me convinced that today will lend another very important contribution towards um, strengthening our friendship deepening our friendship and making our relations um, even closer and uh, I think we will continue um, in this uh, very good uh, spirit uh, in the interest um, and uh, this is what I think this day is going to be about uh, two in the interest of uh, enhancing further German American relations. Und zum Abschluss sei mir jetzt gestattet, ein etwas scherzhaftes Geschenk zu überbringen. In conclusion, um, allow me, I have a little, little gift here, um, and um, you may take it in a playful mode, uh, Madam Secretary. Ein solches Geschenk ist überhaupt erst möglich, seitdem Frauen in der Politik auch was zu sagen haben. And actually, um, it is a, a very fitting gift because it's a, a gift that is only made possible by the fact that women now have also their say in politics. Als nämlich, als nämlich Hillary Clinton bei mir im Kanzleramt zu Besuch war, da sahen wir ziemlich ähnlich aus und dann gab es in einer großen deutschen Zeitung der Frankfurter Allgemeinen ein Ratespiel Who is Who und äh, die Lösung des Rätsels ist auf der Rückseite auch verankert, damit du, liebe Hillary, nicht durcheinander kommst. Um, when Hillary... When Hillary was my guest um, in the Chancery at the last time, we um, actually looked somewhat similar, at least to certain members of the press and the, uh, one of the big uh, German dailies, the FAZ, the next day published a picture <laughs> which was supposed to be a riddle. Uh, a sort of guess who this is, and it's actually revealed at the back so that Hillary is not unduly confused. 